Currently, in China, there is a piece of software that is being circulated amongst the gamer community on Steam. Despite being an app that continuously top charts, it's an app that manages to bypass the great technological might of the Chinese censors to deliver some hot-blooded Western freedom to the Chinese people. But what is this elusive software? Probably some AAA game that somehow accidentally slipped past the censors, right? Nope, it's Wallpaper Engine. Wait, sorry, hold up, so sorry, what's up with Wallpaper Engine in China? Well, recently, some newspaper articles have been reporting about how Chinese citizens have been using Wallpaper Engine to get past government censorship for porn. Yeah, you heard that right. Chinese gamers have used the Wallpaper Engine, a tool used to create cool interactive desktop wallpapers, to view porn. Don't believe me? Well, look at all these reviews posted on the official Steam page for Wallpaper Engine. These are all reports detailing the use of Wallpaper Engine as a vehicle for porn consumption. But it doesn't just stop there. As a matter of fact, Wallpaper Engine consistently sits in the top 20 or top games as a result of so many Chinese gamers purchasing Wallpaper Engine for the sole purpose of watching porn. And it doesn't seem like this trend will stop anytime soon. Or at least, that's what gamers hope. So now the question is, how did we get here, and why Wallpaper Engine? It all began in the year 1997, the year when the Chinese government began restricting and heavily regulating the internet. It was a year that China began censoring porn. In particular, Section 5 of the Computer Information Network and Internet Security Protection and Management Regulations targeted pornography, which are defined as any books, period articles, movies, video and audio tapes, pictures, etc. that explicitly portrayed sexual behavior or undisguisedly publicized pornographic materials. And so to enforce these restrictions, China enacted what we now dub as the Great Firewall, which is a term coined by Jeremy Barm to describe the combination of legislative actions and technologies enforced by the People's Republic of China to regulate the internet domestically. In this effort to combat internet pornography and other internet activity which it deemed illegal, the government of China enacted the widespread use of internet censors. And this included algorithms designed by tech companies including Alibaba and Tuprotect that detected, blocked, and removed all sexual content to great success. And so with all these restrictions in mind, how did pornography fare in China? Well, to say the least, not well. Despite these restrictions, there were a few major points I said arose in China, including the 99 Erotica Forum and Erotica June Day. However, these websites would be regularly stamped out, with 99 Erotica being shut down in a crackdown of pornographic websites in 2004 that led to the arrests of over 200 people and the shutdown of over 700 pornographic websites. And Erotica June Day was cracked down in October 2006, with its founder Chen Hui arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment. And this is a cycle that seemingly has continued for years, with porn websites rising up before quickly being stamped out by the Chinese government. So now it's the year 2016. Your internet is heavily restricted, pretty much all of the big porn websites are taken down and blocked, and so now what do you do? Well, that's where Wallpaper Engine steps in. You see, Wallpaper Engine is in this unique position for the Chinese gaming community, with Steam being as a whole in this unique gray area. So while currently Steam International is blocked in China, Steam has its own Chinese version that remains accessible. However, this library is considerably smaller, and it consists of only around 100 or so games, and one of which being Wallpaper Engine, which managed to slip through the cracks of the Great Firewall. Because you see, Wallpaper Engine didn't start out as a porn portal. As a matter of fact, there was nothing explicit or sexual in regards to Wallpaper Engine itself. You see, Wallpaper Engine is just that, a wallpaper engine. It was just an app that allowed users to create interactive wallpapers. And it was initially released on October 10th, 2016, having been created by Duo developers Christian Scudder and Tim Yulitz. It featured its own rendering engine, which included a particle system editor and a fork of JavaScript called SceneScript for additional wallpaper logic and it allowed for the creation of 2D and 3D wallpapers. It also supported adding audio, video, and web pages in some 3D applications as wallpaper. But most importantly, it allowed for the sharing of these custom wallpapers through the Steam Workshop, which ultimately allowed users to download other user-created content, including well porn. 
And so all of these conditions were right for the perfect storm culminating in wallpaper engine becoming this tool that allowed users to bypass sensors. It was a tool that allowed users to look into the free world of online porn. But is wallpaper engine actually popular in China for this purpose? Well, we can turn into looking at the reviews. Remember all those reviews I mentioned before? Well, they're actually really relevant here. You see, language is a common proxy for Steam's users' geographical distribution, which isn't really a readily available stat. As such, when we look for the Steam reviews of Wallpaper Engine, we see that around 40% of the reviews aren't simplified Chinese, suggesting that a large portion of the Wallpaper's engine user base is in China. And so, while I know that these are all in Chinese, a quick Google translation shows that, yeah, these reviews are, they're all, you know, talking about porn and, and how Wallpaper Engine is an easy vessel to access it. But is it actually that easy to find NSFW content on Wallpaper Engine? I hate saying this, but well, let's take a look for ourselves. Okay, so booting up Wallpaper Engine here, we see that it looks pretty normal, right? You, you got all of your cool, normal wallpapers, you know, your mom and pop, vanilla looking ones, right? But if we dive a little bit deeper, we can get into some exclusive territory, if you know what we mean. So yeah, now let's click the 18 plus filter and uncheck everything else and... Oh boy. Just kidding, no face melting here, but I can't really show what I'm seeing right now on YouTube. But take my word for it, behind this extremely blurry filter, there are pages upon pages of NSFW content. But it just doesn't seem to stop there, right? You know, it, we can we can use the search feature to look for any specific characters, actresses, or whatever. And so, yeah, Wallpaper Engine seemingly contains something for everyone. And this is probably why it's so popular in China, right? Like this ability to find this hidden gateway into the free Western world. You can find content of anything you want in this small app. And so, yeah, knowing all of this, it's incredible how this community of Chinese gamers formed their own wallpaper engine, a seemingly innocuous software based around just making these cool wallpapers. It's one large enough that it even attracted the creators to China for a conference in 2019. And when they were asked about how Wallpaper Engine can showcase NSFW content, creator Christian Scudda responded by saying, What's wrong with that? Wallpaper Engine is only a framework. No matter what you upload to it, even those crazy videos, I don't think there's any problem. And technologically, that is what Wallpaper Engine is at the end of the day. It's just a framework for wallpaper. But for the community around it, Wallpaper's engine is so much more. It's a back door away from sensors, a window to the free world. And of course, it's a quick and easy way to access some porn. So yeah, if you guys want to learn more, check out the MIT Technology Review article linked below. But until then, thank you all for watching. Dorlock signing off.